Here we go. Um, hello. We got some stuff to do today. As you can see, lots of gambling. First, we're going to put these cups in these rings. Don't mind the noise. Wife's in the background. Okay. So, I'm going with crit damage. <clears throat> Reform. Reform. Cool. Crit damage. Two cubs down. I have the other ones. I'm just not going to put them in there until I need them. Uh, so that was number one. Number two. And you can guess. We're going to be rolling some fairies here in a bit. Um, but I want to roll these first. See if I can get a strike. Probably not. Of course not. All junk. Be friends with the villagers. They may give get up. Nice yeah. Gifts. Okay. So. Fairy things. First, I want to look at this. Uh, I got 59 orbs from events. Yeah. So, here's my fairy. I'm okay with Morning Star. I'm okay with Fairy's Tier 3 and Feather Steps, but I'm not okay with Miraculous Tier 3 or Continuous Care 1. If I re roll this now, it's going to give me 11 attempts. Not happy about that. I might get lucky, but there's a better way. I may ruin my fairy or I may get lucky. We're, we'll see. Um, I have three radiance from turning in petals, and of course, I have a ton of sweet honey wine and Lemuria boots. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to level up this serene to 10, see what we get. And if I don't get anything good, I'm going to level up to 20, see what I get. Uh, and then I'll continue with the other two. Uh, the aloof is the one that I hope goes, but uh, these other two are basically just like free attempts. I'm going to throw a silver at. <laughs> the smart thing is to probably just roll mirac Miraculous Cheer. Um, the reason being, you can only get a few skills because all the other ones are learned. Uh, and it's a 14% chance to get Miraculous Cheer 5. However, also a chance to never get it again so I would rather use the free way of doing this plus it can be educational this is like the broke man's way uh, not pay to win I got these orbs through there was an event a while back where it was like a lottery based and you got tickets and you could roll like every day and I ended up getting 25 orbs apiece plus there were some other events that gave me like nine or somewhere around there so um so we ended up with 59 um if i do this the the cheap way and level fairies to 20 to see what i get and then the last one level to 10 and re-roll that should give me two attempts two attempts three attempts so that's what five attempts plus 59 so i'll have 64 attempts at getting miraculous cheer five and then we'll see where we go from there uh, it's going to be cheaper to do it that way. And if I ruin my fairy, then I'll just have to maybe pay to win to get it back or something. Uh, but we'll see. <clears throat> bye bye, fairy. I'll get off of there. How do I turn this in? Oh, yeah. I got to run all the way over there. Gosh dang it. It's been so long since I did that. Anyway, um, I kind of wanted to do this as like a pseudo-fairy guide, but also just... 
because I've been wanting to roll my fairy higher. Um, the two skills that I really care about are Feathery 5 and Reckless Cheer 5. Um, now if I roll one of these and level it to 10, and it immediately learns like Feathery 5, I will consider leveling it to 20 and um, Hmm, a fairy has appeared. What are we going to name this thing? Tink? That's kind of what I had it before, because they look like Tinkerbell. Alright, gross. Summon... I hope this one doesn't... I don't want to be... Um, no. What is 10 going to get me? 10. One. Okay, so we need 11. Let's see what skill we get. Cheer 2. Not good enough. Okay. Give me feathery. Inexhaustible well five. Nope. Useless skill. Miraculous cheer two is useless, so goodbye. We will not re roll. Unless we have to. Oh, fairy's tier 4, man. It's all so hard to pass up. That's best in slot for the Terry's uh, fairy's tier. Let me buy some more shoes. Now this is just the throw silver at it method. If you have, technically you can just do this infinitely and eventually, um, oh, that isn't going to work. Where's the closest storage? Still idle. Let me cut this out. Be right back. It's going to require me to run back and forth. Okay. So. Since this one has a best in slot, I don't really care about fairies tier, but we're not going to re-roll that yet. We're going to see what we get. If we, now, if we get feathery or MC5, no, inexhaustible well. Alright, we'll go... We'll level this one on up and see what happens. Morning Star. Thirty-eight. Alright, uh no. The reason I was leveling this is because we ended up with two very good skills. The other ones kinda suck, so um we release it. Now what we do, I need to, I need a load more of, uh, shoes. Actually, I don't. So, I'm going to use Honey One for this one, um, and if I need shoes, then I'll run back and get them so what we what I have to do now is I have to start using orbs to re-roll and hope I get lucky um, the other reason that I wanted to re-roll my fairy Okay, 
the reason I wanted to re-roll the fairy anyway is because I didn't like the green light. Uh oh. We froze. Hold on. I don't know why it crashed. Come on. There we go. Okay. The fairy has appeared. Yay. You gonna let me name it? Alright. We're gonna have Tink here. Um, so, Aloof is the best color if you get Morningstar. Let's hope that we get lucky on this. I also noticed I was on three instead of two. Ten? Eleven? No, oh, we need twelve, funny one. Okay. Cross your fingers for MC or Feathery Five. Fairy Steer Four. Dang it. Um. I have to change it. Seven percent. Now we pay to win. All right. Keep going till we get MC or Feathery Five. Don't want that. Don't want that either. Still a high chance of getting MC Five. Three down. We go till we get it. Tingling breath, that's bad. I may have ruined my fairy. I don't want four, I want miraculous cheer five. Please and thank you. Why am I getting a 4% instead of... Keep going. There we go. Feathery 5. That's good. Very good. Okay. Um, now we level up again. What do we need? 20 of these. Need more than 20. Uh, 30 of these. 35. 40. Okay. Cross your fingers for MC5. And this is where it gets bad. 9% um, chance. Okay. We've got 25 chances to get MC5. Do I keep going or do I do I wait? We'll keep going. Probably should have uh, left that. Come on. Inexhaustible well, most useless skill there is. We still got a nine percent chance. Come on. Five percent. Nine percent. Please. Yes. That's what you call being carried. Okay, so no more skill changes. Oh, uh, now we level up. Uh, 
24, we hit 30. Go. Warning star, please. You know what? I'll take it. Because if I change skills here, um, Tingling Breath is pretty well useless. I would need Fairy's Tier 4, or I would need um, Morning Star or Continuous 5. 3. How about we do. Fairy's Tier 4 is 9%. What is Continuous? 5%. I'll do a few here because it's only going to take three. If I level this up again, it's going to... You you get to a point where... You get to a point where you have to take into account how many skills you have. So I can't... Like when you roll this, you can get any of these one through five on any of skills. So you have a huge skill pool that you can pull from. Yes, you have a higher chance of getting like... Like um, on a Radiant Fairy, you have a higher chance of getting fives or fours instead of ones and twos it still happens um the other thing that you have to take into account is the amount of re-rolls so i still have 41 of these i can re-roll this thing several times um, i want to see fairies tier four or continuous care five here so we will we're gonna do a couple it may not work out but we'll try Useless. Inexhaustible well is useless. We have to get rid of that. Under Tingling Breath 5 is absolutely useless too. It didn't used to be, but it is now. We need Continuous Care 5, please. Or Fairy's Tier 4. No. I will not have a fairy with Inexhaustible well on it. I will not do it. I won't do it. We'll keep re-rolling. It wants me to have that, but... See, if you have the infinite potions and you have Miraculous Tier 5, or, or even just 3, there's no... There's no reason to ever have Inexhaustible Well, because the cooldown is 5 minutes and you're going to get Heat Stroke and, or Hyperthermia again as soon as your fairy uses the T. Morningstar. One of the hardest skills to get. We'll take it. So now all we need is Continuous Care and Fairy Steer. I'm going to level up to 40. And uh, what we get, we get. We we'll use those Dark Wines. I don't care about those. Um, they were event items. And then I'm going to need, like, what, 20 of those? Yeah. Let's hope for Continuous Care 5. Exhaustible. I hate that skill so freaking much. Okay, so, um, Tingling Breath is 7, 8%, 9% for Fairy's Tier. We're hoping for 3 or 4 Fairy's Tier, um, or Continuous Care, so we have to level here. Change it. Fairy's Tier 4, perfect. My Fairy is almost perfect. Now we level up and hope that I get Continuous Care. 40... 60? 65. What is going on here? It'll only let me do 67. Okay. Alright, so one. Cross your fingers for uh, continuous care. <sighs> Not continuous care. One. Useless. Alright, I got three re-rolls. Um, I will do it. Continuous care isn't that important to me. I have the... Feathery Steps, Miraculous Tier, and Morning Star. Those are the only ones I care about. Um, Fairy's Tier 4 is just kind of gimmicky. Um, it's only good if you die all the time, and it has a one hour cooldown, but it is best in slot. Uh, Continuous Care 5 would be best here. 
Um, any continuous cares I'll be happy with, but I have rerolls, so for the content, I might as well do it. Let's hope that we get four or five. Probably Tingling Breath five. Well, that's close. Two more chances. Perfect fairy. I am carried like crazy. That is awesome. And it's aloof. So, we will set this here and here. And set these back to 95 like I had them. I don't like them spamming all the time, so I set them at 95. And then, of course, I got all my item settings. And... Morning star. So if I go over here to this darkness, hard to show on. It's hard to show in here because it's daylight, but normal and morning star. We got a nice little blue light. It's like my own little Atanas element, but it's blue. It's more uh, aesthetically pleasing. So. Five, five, four, five, and Morning Star. Now, if you were to look at the other skills, Inexhaustible Well is useless. Uh, underwater Breathing, you could make an argument for, but Continuous Care, Miraculous Cheer, and Feathery Steps are always going to be best in slot. Uh, you can do without Morning Star, so you could swap that out with Tingling Breath if you're, uh, or even Fairy's Tear if you're like a life skiller. You can swap either one of those out. You could probably swap out. Um, Maybe Miraculous Cheer if you're a life skiller, but it's whatever. Um, for me, uh, this is the best, and I think it's best in slot overall. Um, yeah. Cheer 5, Care 5, Steps 5, uh, Fairy's Tear is highest, they're all maxed. Yep. That is all there is to get, so pretty happy with that. I was a little worried to re-roll my fairy, you know, not, not gonna lie. I was, I, was, I was sweating a little bit. But, uh, and that was all event uh, orbs. Uh, that's why I sat and farmed um, when we did the lottery tickets. That's why I rolled four Taya orbs every time. Uh, and of course I still got nine, so pretty useless i don't have any reason to ever need these again um the one thing i will say about fairies is the rng if you're if you're not rng carried um it seems to be that i'm pretty rng carried in things like enhancing and and now the fairy thing uh if, if you're not it can take hundreds and hundreds of dollars to do what i just did um i did it the most economical way that you can the free-to-play way is to do exactly what I was doing at the beginning. Roll your fairies, level them up. Uh, if they don't get the skills you want, you just dump them. Uh, use Taya Orbs when you have them from just events and stuff. But if you're going to pay to win it, it could be very expensive. This is why I didn't spend any money on it, and I saved up orbs um, just from the events and stuff. But I guess that's complete. Um... Now that being said, there are other methods. I know other people have made guides um, if you're looking for really in-depth, but I think my method probably works the best. But you have to figure out which skills you want. Um, I was dead set on feathery steps. I have to have that. That was my, that my go-to skill, and Miraculous Cheer was my second go-to. Continuous Care, I really didn't care about that much. Um, fairy Cheer, I really don't care about. I just kept it because it's best in slot, and... The morning star so feathery steps miraculous cheer morning star were my top three and then the other two are just bonus on top of that so granted if you have continuous care one you can make do um i mean i don't know why you would ever need 20 something items i don't even have enough in here but i guess if you're running like an elixir rotation or something so your fairy can just constantly bust it but <laughs> huge relief isn't this yeah 20 selected items so i think it's like five for number one 
feather, feathery. Because I had one before, yeah, it's five. So really, realistically, three or higher you can get away with easily. And you can make do with five or eight. Um, and then just, it's just a little bit more um, tedious. You know, I mean, we managed before we had fairies and we ran all that stuff ourselves. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, and look, I can sell these. So now when I turn in petals, also I ended up with almost 10,000 um, stuffs. <laughs> That's funny. If you have a lot of stuff, from from trash and fairies. Um, <laughs> and granted, a lot of people don't even end up getting radiance from petals, but I get them all the time. Uh, I usually trade them for, or at least moving forward, I'll be trading them for mythical. I trade the brilliance and the... Um, Radiance for Mythical Feathers, and then I end up all the other ones I trade for wine and just sell it. Of course, I've been saving that to do this fairy reroll, so that's all I needed. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Um, next thing you see on the channel is probably going to be the Pacifist video. Uh, I'm going to work on it all weekend, and anytime I get to record, I'm going to record, and I'll try and get it out Tuesday. But See you guys then, as always, until next time.